Grand Isle is an eight mile long barrier island located in southeastern Louisiana, about 45 miles south of New Orleans. The island contains approximately 3,500 residents centered around the oil production industry, fishing and shrimping, and tourism. In 2008, a product delivery team from the St. Louis District, MVS, made up of project managers and engineers, arrived in New Orleans to assist the Hurricane Protection Office, New Orleans District, in preparing damage assessment from Hurricanes Katrina, Ike, and Gustav. Grand Isle had received extensive damages to homes, businesses, and infrastructures from all three hurricanes. The town of Grand Isle remained vulnerable from future tropical storms and hurricanes because of the compromised condition of its coastal protection sand dune. The dune was completely eroded away in many locations and provided no protection from storm surges. In addition, offshore jetties and breakwaters and portions of Grand Isle Beach were partially or severely damaged. MVS developed a project information report, PIR, that detailed damages from all the storms, provided engineering alternatives for repairs and rehabilitation, and developed cost estimates for proposed actions. MVS also prepared plans and specifications for the chosen alternative, which consisted of a newly planted coastal protection dune that contained a geotextile sand-filled core. Additional design measures also included boardwalks on the dune, coastal beach restoration using offshore dredge disposal, repair of the western rock jetty, and replacement of navigation lights on all the jetties and breakwaters. The combined measures saved the taxpayer an estimated $14 million and provided additional scour protection from hurricane-induced waves. Construction was completed in 2010. By January of 2011, planted vegetation had taken hold on the constructed protection dune and it was ready for its first test. In early September 2011, Tropical Storm Lee pounded Grand Isle. The end result was that the dune performed as designed, protecting the citizens and infrastructure of Grand Isle from destruction. During the storm, a small section of the geotube system was challenged along the lower western shore of Grand Isle. The geotube performed as designed, with the frontal scour curtain launching after being attacked by storm surge waves and preserving the foundation and thus the integrity of the dune. For information about any of the video, please contact the Applied River Engineering Center at 314-865-6326.